Good morning. I know y'all can probably hear the wind. Uh, had a cold front. Well, not. We had a front pass through. It's not no cold front. Uh, high pressures sitting in. They predicted 13, 12, 13 mile an hour wind. So you know you got to double that. So we're easily 25 miles an hour winds already. Uh, clear skies. Front path pushed all the clouds out, and uh, we're pretty daggone windy. Uh, but when you get the chance, you you know what it is. We got to go. So uh, let's do this. Pretty chopped up out there. Pretty chopped up. Got the old dodger tied off. Another good tip, guys, is uh, when it is windy. Go to the back side, the opposite side of the uh, dock that the wind is blowing to protect your boat from getting all beat up. Very good tip. You don't want to be damaging your boat. Most of these docks got bolts and nails and all that crap. All right, let me shut up and get out of here. Let's do this. All right, guys, good morning. We're out. Hey, let me tell you, we got 20, 25 mile an hour winds out here today. These days like this are very fishable. It's just that they're going to be only be certain areas. Right now, I'm dealing with wind, but they're on, the big old crashing waves are not. They're, they're not here. Uh, and from the looks of that 2D right there, I'm hoping I'll be able to zoom in on that and uh, look like there's there's some fish here. So we're going to give it a shot. Y'all got to deal with the road noise again today, but with the conditions we got, this is one of the. Uh, protected areas that I like to fish so uh let's see if we can make this thing happen and like my last trip I'm gonna start off with a three inch limits tackle split tail and I was just uh talking with him yesterday and still didn't ask him what does he call this color uh, it's an excellent bait uh, and we're going to see if we can't make it happen we're going to be using uh, we're going to see what the fish want got some Berkeley Berkeley power bait or crappie nibbles whichever you prefer and I'm about out of the slab sauce slab uh, we're going to give this uh, slab sauce another try. I like this bottle here better than the uh, the spray bottles also. And we're going to have some G-Sauce. And we're just going to see what the fish prefer. Um, I know I haven't been talking much about this in, in the videos, but it's it's uh, seems like uh, it's, it's hard to remember to talk about the small things. You know, we all, I always talk about the scent and sort of don't uh, remember to talk about it. You know, we get new guys in here and, and they just don't know. So I got to remember to start talking about that. Hey guys, uh, this rod, this Denali Prime, it's a 12 foot. And uh, I talked about it a little bit in my last video, but one thing that I did mention is, yes, it's a 12 foot pole. And uh, I'm talking about it, it fishes like a 10 foot pole. Light, but it's sensitive. And uh, as you've seen, and, and we'll see hopefully today, it, it has that swing in power. So you get on these fish, and uh, it has the ability to, uh, to get these fish in the boat. It's like I was saying earlier, we got a high pressure setting in, so we just gonna have to play around and, and see what these fish are gonna want. I'm, my thinking is they're gonna be holding very tight to structure, but we, we're gonna just have to we're gonna just have to figure it out. And let the fish tell us what what it is that they're gonna want and how they want it. And we showing plenty of fish down there. What is it gonna take to make them bite? Those the question. I mean, we hadn't had any rain, but the water sort of looks stained to me for some reason. 
Not sure what that's all about. Could be just from the wind. Woo! -woo. <laughs> kind of tough to even uh, hold a rod up. All right, gave it a few minutes with this big bait. We're gonna downsize. Play with some colors. Tell you what, temperature is uh, 65 this morning, but uh, that wind, that daggone wind got it feeling kind of cool out here. But I brought my frog tog. I may uh, be putting it on, having to put it on here in a minute. We'll see. Hopefully after this front get on through here, that wind will die down soon. But uh, we just got to deal with what we got at hand. Not even a peck yet. Water temp is at 63. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm fishing this spot a lot longer than uh, I normally would. But like I always say, when you... Uh, of seeing fish there you got to go through the process of, of uh, I mean you could be just dropping a bait that these fish just don't want you gotta go through the process of uh, making sure you making sure you do a few changes but I'm gonna put a quarter ounce with this wind the way it is so I'm gonna go with a uh, usually on those Real bright days like we, we got right now. A low contrast is uh, a great bait to uh, use. And by the way, guys, this is a brand new bait that uh, Steve just come out with. A little creature bait. I'm not sure what he calls this thing, but take a look at that. Looks pretty daggone good to me. And uh, we're going to give it a shot. Put a little bit of that G sauce on there. And let's drop it down there and see if they want it. Looks good. See if we can sling a fish in the boat with it. Yep, there we go. And just a nice little fish. Come down there, buddy. Look at that old creature bait there, y'all. Creature bait deep in there. Hey, these are some little uh, number six hooks, and and uh, these things got swinging power. Uh, they really got some good swinging power. Bam! Just a nice, gorgeous fish need to start showing y'all these fish a little more beautiful fish black crappie Just a great big old good one. One of them old thick backs. I mean, just, woo, repeat, repeat.
All right, found another little protected pocket. We're going to give it a shot. And wind is a game changer, y'all. Bam! 